What's up guys? My name is Alex Passano and I'm coming out with a new show called Alex Passano Spontaneous Stand-Up. It's stand-up comedy, but it's different. We're just uh, in my crib right now, getting ready for the first shoot. Got a shitload of cameramen, got a shitload of boom guys, got a shitload of everything for this show. It's perfect. We're gonna be fucking famous, all right? It's gonna be on MTV, TNT, fucking Spike. It's gonna be everywhere. You guys are gonna love it. And if you don't know about this show, well, you probably live in a fucking rock. First stop is Brattleboro, Vermont, where I take it to the streets and I just start doing stand-up everywhere, on the sidewalk, in front of theaters, in front of bars, everywhere. It's no frills entertainment for these motherfuckers, okay? And by the way, I created this. This is all mine. This is all me. So if you ever even think about trying to do spontaneous stand-up, remember who you got it from. Right here, baby. Right here. I'm here in the very artsy town of Brattleboro, Vermont, a town well known for its supportive crowd of the arts and up-and-comers. See what I mean here. So I went to the psychiatrist the other day, wearing only saran wrap shorts, right? Get this, the psychiatrist said to me, guess what he said, do you know this joke? No, you probably don't. I can clearly see your nuts, right? Oh. I don't play that shit! Got it. Oh, 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 oh! oh. I think we gotta get you a new pair of pants, dude. dude. I got nutted, man. Obviously, my last performance didn't go as planned. But that's okay, because I got a new plan, right? Instead of going up to random people on the street that aren't expecting me, what I'm gonna do is there's a local theater in Brattleboro. They play movies. I used to work in a movie theater, so I know how to cut one of the movies short, okay? And I'm gonna go up in front of one of the audiences and I'm gonna start doing stand-up. All right, these motherfuckers, they're not even gonna know what hit them. Obviously, all right, this is gonna be great. They're gonna, they're gonna shit themselves, okay? They're gonna shit themselves that I'm that funny, all right? Check it. I know what all of you are like. Every single one of you. Every single night there's a huge rush and a single mother with a four-year-old daughter would come in every night. She thinks it's cute her four-year-old daughter orders for the both of them. I can't even hear the little girl. And every single night she's like, okay baby, tell the big man what you want, okay? And the little girl's like, oh, I don't know what I want. Just tell the big man what you want, okay? She's a Mexican mother. And she's sitting there, oh, I want a soda. So I get the kid a soda, the kid wants a soda. So I grab it and I give it to the mother, and the mother's mother insists that her kid should hold her own soda. And, and she gives it to her, and then we, uh, hey, well, you cut it out, all right? Anyways, so she hands the kid the soda, and she's like, okay, baby, don't drop it, okay? Okay, mommy, I'm not gonna drop the soda. I'm gonna have a random spaz attack. The kid just spazzes out everywhere. Soda's everywhere, okay? All right, I'm gonna be nice about it, and I say, all right, it's gonna be okay, I can clean up the soda, it's whatever, it's just an accident. Happen. Really, what I want to do is just get on the ground, grab that little kid by the neck, and be like, What is wrong with you? Pull their soda! Come on! Relax! Relax! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah! I have a set. It's about four minutes long and I have three minutes left of my set. And these people just stop heckling me and just let me finish my set. We can get this done a lot faster and I can get out of here a lot quicker, right? So, anyways. Yeah, I used to work this movie, right? Crazy stuff. You have time. Try it one more time. Why? What, are you just gonna give up? I was planning on it, yeah. Listen, man. 
You've got the it factor. You, you, you've got the thing that makes the star. You can't just give up now. I, I think we've been going about this the wrong way. Have we? Yeah. I think what we need to do, we need to try an intimate living room setting. You know, whole families will get together and watch stand-up comedy on their TV in the living room. And this is, like, even better. It's live. Why yeah. wouldn't they love it? You got a point there. Yeah. What do you say? One more try. Fuck it. Obviously, my performance blatches. Didn't really go as planned. But that's all right. Because that's not my audience. This? This right here? That's my audience. A couple of random people looking for something to watch on television is my audience. You know where stand-up comedy is usually seen? The television. In the living room with all your family members. Let's go check it out, guys. Come on. They're gonna love it. Well, hey, hey there! You get the hell whoa, out of my- whoa, 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 dude, dude, relax, all right? How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you tell your damn jokes somewhere else! Oh, dude, don't- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, make me squeal like a bat! <laughs> Oh, my leg! Oh, oh, my God! Oh, shit. I think we need to take him to the hospital. No, 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 no. No, we don't, we don't need to do that. We, he always bounces back. He always bounces back. Let's try, let's just try prodding, prodding him a little bit. Alex? Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> what happened, dude? Um, oh. It went really well. Yeah, yeah, actually it went so well that they broke out the champagne and they each gave us a glass and you're like, oh, I fucking love champagne. They're like, well, if you love champagne, you'll love this whiskey. And then, and you know how, how much you love whiskey. I and, love whiskey. And then, and then, uh, and, and then you took like, you took like seven shots of whiskey. I remember people were like, let's, let's do this, man. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. go hard or go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. chug, yeah. chug, chug, and then, and then you just passed out. Uh, I remember people cheering and then, bam, lights out. Yeah, you, you lights out and so we, t we took you out here to get some fresh air. Oh, fresh air is nice, yeah. 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 How's it looking? It's looking really good. We got some great stuff here. <sighs> so we gotta go? Yeah, yeah. Did you see everything? The boom mic. Fuck, no, I, I left the, I left the tripod. Sorry. God damn it. The treat. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. You can't see this, dude. Alex, you lied! You shouldn't see this. No, you keep that thing rolling, all right? Alex. I want everyone. Don't touch me, woman. Okay? Whose show is it? It's your show, Alex. It's my show. It's your show. And guess how we're doing things now? My way. Okay. It's my show. Yeah. It's your show, Alex. Yeah. All right? Yes, sir. Now get in the car. Yeah. What? Did you hear that? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? 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 Fuck. Dude! You know, I was listening to the radio recently, and a guy invented a pill that makes it so your farts smell like chocolate. Now there are pros and cons to taking this pill, right? Con being, how am I gonna get my girlfriend out of the room, right, buddy? Huh? Come on. Yeah. But the pro being, maybe she won't puke as much when she's eating my abs. Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Nah, I'm too good. <laughs> <laughs>